Hi, this is Dr. Janowski for Sonata Aesthetics. Today we're going to talk about Sculptra, a very popular and actually quite old product. It's been around for many years, which is a very unique product because it stimulates your body to make its own collagen and your own collagen then becomes your own filler, which is very nice. It's a natural process and Sculptra is really a very unique product. There's not really too many other products that can do that. And so we use lots of sculpture here. It's great for patients who have volume loss in a number of areas, such as the temple, the cheeks, the area below the cheekbone. It's good for the peripheral parts of the face, not so much the center. Um, it's becoming more and more popular now that the sculpture labeling has changed and we're able to train on it now, um, which you weren't able to do for quite a long time. So I do run a sculpture training uh, session here in my office every uh, few months and it's just a wonderful product that we've been using for many years so we want to look at for example areas of the face which have some volume loss the temple is one across the the cheek here would be another you can use it in the nasolabial area as well um, and sometimes people lose volume in what we call the preauricular area which is here which is not too bad in her case but uh, sculpture is kind of the opposite of what we normally think of when we do fillers. It has a delayed effect, it's not immediate, and it also is good to spread this product around. It's not meant to go in one place, it's meant to be used kind of like a natural fertilizer that causes the collagen to grow. So we want it to grow a little bit everywhere. So we want to spread it around and it's good to massage the product as well. So. Again, I'll demonstrate how we do sculpture in the typical fashion and talk about the aftercare after that. Okay, so what I've done is I've created some numbing injection points with the 1% lidocaine with epi. So I'm gonna use a cannula up in this area here. So we're gonna make our port right there and we're gonna inject uh, two and a half cc's of sculpture using a cannula. And we just kind of want to spread it around to this area. So the patient will hear some funny sounds. It's a little bit of a strange sound, but we're just gonna go and lay that in in a fanning fashion. You can even get a little bit under the brow there that helps to lift it. And remember, we're injecting sculpture and a whole bunch of water, right? So the water makes it look like there's something filling, but that's just not real. The water will, um, the water will get reabsorbed. So we always tell the patient, Anything you see today isn't really the real thing. It's just the water is our delivery system for the small sculpture particles, and that will go away, and then eventually the particles will start to do their thing. So you could inject sculpture deep. Some people go down here and inject it deep. I like to stay superficial and just use a cannula. There we go. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I've just done the temples. Now I'm gonna to switch to a regular 25 gauge needle. That's all you need for the rest of the areas. And we're going to create a little bit of more cheekbone. So when we inject here, I like to go deep, super periosteal and lift the muscle and then inject retrograde. In this area, I don't feel there's any need to do um, you know, to check for the position of the needle because we're injecting retrograde and we're always moving the needle while we're injecting. Okay, so aspiration is not necessarily needed here. Okay. okay now we're going to do the, uh, the malar portion of the cheek coming in this direction here. And we just want to, again, we just want to round it out a little bit in where this is an area where one could choose to aspirate. I just tend to always keep the needle moving and start injecting after the needle has moved. So we're never in any one spot, but you can see I'm occasionally aspirating there. And that's up to you if you want to do that. And we're basically in the subcutaneous plane right there. So we can also inject the nasolabial fold. That is an area where we do want to aspirate. So I'll start at my injection area where I numbed. 
And then we're at the nasal ala and then if I am aspirating and then slowly going back down, again, we're gonna aspirate. And this is two cc's. And again, I'm in the subcutaneous plane. Can you go deep? Yes, you can. Uh, some people choose to do that. Some people will go down this direction, hit bone, and then inject very deeply. I don't think there's any, any strong preference one way or the other. I think we're getting more collagen production in the, in the more superficial plane, so I like to stay there. Okay, so we've completed the sculpture. We used two vials. The, the way we mixed it up was eight and a half cc's of sterile water, half a cc of 1% lidocaine. Um, and other people will do uh, eight and one instead of eight and a half and a half. I, I think a half is plenty of lidocaine. So what we wanna do is we wanna massage the area. So I'm taking some Arnica here and we're just gonna massage those different areas like I said, we want sculpture to spread. We don't want to stick it in one place. We want it to move around and we don't want it to clump in any one area because we don't want to create any nodules, which are rare, but we don't want to get them. So we did the temples and then we came around to the cheek, both on the side and the front. And then we did our nasolabial area. Those are what we focused on. Again, other areas you can do. Some people get hollow in the buccal area. Some people get hollow in the preauricular area. Those are the most common areas. Some people will come down into the hollow um, in the marionette area as well. Well, I think it's less effective there. So um, two vials is a standard amount and we typically will do, well, we will expect to do two vials, three treatment six weeks apart for a total of six vials. That's an average and we can always change that as we go along. Some people will need more, some people will need less. And I tell the patient to massage three minutes, three times a day for three days to do the same type of massage at home. And then again, any kind of fullness we see here is gonna be gone tomorrow. So I tell the patient, don't be shocked. This is not the result. This is just getting the product in. And then when we see the patient in six weeks, we start to see the results of the first treatment. And then we continue on as needed. And then very little maintenance is needed. Typically one vial a year is good for most people to maintain the result essentially forever. So it's a very long lasting effect, very natural look. It helps the skin quality as well, which is something other fillers don't really do. So it's a very unique and wonderful product. And if you think you're a candidate for it, just let us know.